Still in the old van, pack it in Stan. <laughs> you think I finished restoring the mansion? And the one man walking I steadfast, Daft Williams, will be pleased to know I'm wearing the same underpants as yesterday. Oh, quality. I can't see it at all. <laughs> I should have put it on the white. <laughs> I'll just have to order it again. <laughs> oh, turn it the other way round and it won't glug. Oh, that's amazing. I know you're all as anxious as I am to see if the mansion starts again, but I've still got to do some more maintenance. All right, simple start, flagpole swap. And even though this isn't for me, I want to see more English people flying their flag with pride. I've really enjoyed living and working in England and being amongst you, and that's coming from a Welshman. Okay, it was the front left indicator out. For some reason, Americans call it blinker. Hmm. All right, change the bulb. Is that blown? Yeah, must be. I've got some spare ones there. Don't know if polarity matters. I might put it in. Test it. I guess the hazards will work without the key. Yep. Quick check. Yep. 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 Around the back. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. May as well glue this indicator lamp while I'm here. Off of that, back up. Oh, don't bend too much. Lovely. And then screws back in. And it so happens, there's another one in the bag. Might as well do them both. Like that. Of course, you won't see anything from the outside. All right, let's cut to the chase. Does it start? Well, that's not an encouraging sign. Fishington Burt puzzle. I'm having my fruit intake. And Derek O'Brien said the first thing he normally does when he buys a van is to replace the starter and the alternator as they're the things that normally go. And indeed on the Purple Pug Palace I replaced the starter, didn't I? Enough waffle. Start. Blow plugs out, fan off. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, 
definitely needs a new battery. Oh, that's all right. The alternator seems good though. Um, I think Packet Instan has a reasonable battery. Maybe it was driving it around at night with the lights on that didn't allow the battery to charge as much as it could have. Yeah, certainly charging now. Nice. Yeah. Wow, there's not much to this, is there? All right, next problem. The rear step. Hmm. It might just need a little persuasion. Oh, wow. Check it out. I mean, I don't think it would take my weight, but what's holding it in? <laughs> yeah, it's actually screwed into the rotten plywood floor, so perhaps I won't step on that. Next. Right, small job. The stable door opener here, or door latch, whatever. Yeah, that'll do. Just, so just swap that for that. Simples. Success by the inch is a cinch, but by the yard, it is hard. Now, does it work? Well, you see, the male goes into the female. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that in the dark there. Yeah, pure filth. A bag of spare bullet fuses, you never know. Relax a moment. Yeah, that's the idea. You know, I've, I've said it before, but the van life community is the most perfect example of social media at its best, where whatever you're doing, you're not alone. There are thousands of people who know more than you about what you're doing and can help you. And I'm so grateful for all the help I've received from my viewers. Yeah, perhaps a battery transplant from Packet in Stan. How are you doing in there? Hmm. Good. The state of that. Yes. Got it. And the earth. Hmm. Is that loose there? Yeah. Right, you're free. Out you come. Oh, I was holding it in that bolt. 13 mil. Try that. in one mm. 
not much turning room, really. <laughs> I need two of those extensions. Let's see if I can just do it a couple of oh, clicks at a time without skidding on the nut. Yeah. Hmm. Fiddly. Okay, it will get there. And now it's loose. Easy. How much has it lost since the last time it started? Oh, good lord. That's crap. The leisure battery is running in parallel. How's that doing? Huh. Very well, 12.7 volts. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh. All right, you're up. All right, and the positive. Let's see what the voltage is. Eleven point six. Put the tools away before we. Oh, oh! I fix the battery and then put the tools away before we crank it. Why didn't I swing this side earlier? Now I know it may have seemed wiser to have swapped the batteries over while. Um, the engine was running, but I just didn't fancy doing that. So will it start on 11 and a half volts now it's actually warm? Low plug, shining a little bit, going down to nine. <laughs> now this is a cliffhanger, so you'll have to wait till the next episode to find out what happened.